Hey, there we go to get the right microphone. Like it's been a few days, guys. What's going on? How are you? Good. Let me get my fan here uh, squared away. There we go. Hope you guys are doing well. Tessa, what's up, man? Allison, all good to see you there. Captain Crutch, what up, man? I saw all of our uh, sponsors and mods in there. What's up? Hey, <laughs> TGF. What up, Timbo? Good to see you there. Fireman Dan as well. I saw Deuce in there. Sinister Devin. Good to see you, man. Nicholas. What up, man? Devious too. Good evening. Good to see sponsors in here. Modern Day, what's going on, man? He, man. Good to see you, man. Yvonne Bennett, what's up? Good to see you there. Jacoby as well. Andrew M. Captain Chaos. Sir Kales. Uh, who else we had here? Lonely Pancake, what's up, man? H and Ice, H Grant, Brian Sanders, uh, 73 Callum, what's up, man? Jess Pickett, uh, who is Steven Cuevas, what's up, man? Good to see you there. Wonder, what's up? He's a year plus. Thank you there. Appreciate you, Wonder, as always. Good to see you as well. Jersey09, what's up, man? Happy Pants, Drew, J Cap, Chris, Kenny Jr., what's up, man? Jay's Gaming, y'all are gonna love the uh, Jake break on this one. It is good. Frederick Pro, what up, man? Morning, Trucker. Good morning. Good to you. Hope you're doing well. Mike Peterson, what's up, my friend? All the way overseas, man. Staying up late with us for a little ATS trucking. SLC trucking. What's up, man? Yo, how are you? Good to see you, man. Eddie Atkins as well. Good to see you as always, man. Sir Kales, let's get this thing popping. Yeah, it's a heck of a way to get her started, man. Thank you there, Sir Kales. Appreciate you, buddy. A $10 super chat there for Mr. Sir Kales. Appreciate it, man. Minute 15. There he goes. Thank you there, Scales. Appreciate it, man. Biggers, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. James, what's up? <laughs> Stand up late's the way to go. Yeah, I pretty much live my life that way. I feel like I miss too much. I mean, I get as many hours of the day. Let's see, 26. Well, at least I'll get 22 hours out of the day, it feels like sometimes. Alex, what's going on? Caden, good to see you, man. Well, appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, we'll throw a little, uh, a little, another, yeah, we'll throw a little, uh, some more acoustic uh, guitar country up in the house. I don't know. It just felt right for this truck. I don't know why. Sometimes we drive these sporty dubbed out trucks, you know, we gotta have a little uh, EDM music going on, but something about this truck, man, just screamed a little old school country, so. Thunderwolf, year plus member there, what's up, man? Hope you are good, thank you there for your support. And uh, what is up to you, my friend? Hope you're doing well, Highland Wolf, what's up, man? Yeah, I don't think I'll be driving tomorrow tonight. I've actually got a lot to drive, man. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Like, taking three or four days off, I'm like, man, I got like, uh, I got a crap to do. Uh, Reds Gaming, what's up, buddy, how are you, man? Uh, we're not in the 138 yet. We're still in 137. <laughs> what's up? Dead Deuce is in the house. Anthony, what's up, man? I'm doing good, man. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking there, Captain. Here we go. One second here. John Taylor, what's up, man? Christopher, I am doing good, man. Let's go ahead and fail. Let's go ahead and let's get into this one. Y'all think you guys are going to like this one. So, anyway, y'all don't go anywhere. All right, what is up? Well, what's up there? Captain Chaos with a $20 super chat. Nicholas Fender with the $2. And also with, uh, what was that? That was a nice emote there from uh, from Mr. Uh, Louis, man. Appreciate it, Louis, as always. Nicholas Fender, thank you there, man. $2 super chat. Let's get it. Captain Chaos says, love the music, man. Well, appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, nothing to do crazy with 138. So, uh, honestly, everything's working well with 137. So, why, why stop it? Everything's good. Uh, so at any rate, yeah, so we got an old school color. We're early in the morning here. It is, uh, what, 7-ish seven, seven o'clock. Uh, we're in uh, Sierra Nevada. We're actually going to be doing some on the Great America map. So, yeah, so it's going to be good. Uh, old school truck, man. Uh, old school Marmon. This is from Blades. If you guys want to know where this is from, thanks again to those Super Chats, guys. Appreciate it. If you want to know this from, the description is in the channel. Uh, all you got to do is like the page. Send the Blades uh, custom mud shop there for ATS and ETS2. Send them a message. Say, hey, man, I'm interested in your Marmon. And then it basically has got an away message set up that lets you know what everything is. Uh, and then kind of what the, the status is on how to do anything. So it's real super easy. Uh, it was great dealing with uh, with Blades and uh, those guys. Um, so I appreciate uh, appreciate that, man. Good good workmanship on this. He's updating and adding, too. A lot of these guys have kind of initially uh, released their first versions, and they're going back and they'll add some more as they get into it, which is cool with me because that means every update you can kind of expect something new to start rolling out, which is really good. And a lot of guys, you know, put a mod out, and then you won't see any updates or any of that unless something breaks with a mod. 
Uh, but you may be able to see that thing for at least another, you know, four or five months before you see any action on it. Which, if you know John Ruda, uh, he put out a big update with his stuff as well today. Uh, so we had a bunch of stuff going on in the ATS world the past couple of days. He made some big announcements today, flat tops, different cabin variants, frame variants. He's got another 20-some skins in the skin pack that just got released. Uh, so if you do have those trucks, you can download those. But not to say anything and take away from this, Blade's doing the same thing with his. So he's got a, um, a trans star. He's got uh, this Marmon out. He's got the record, the 388 record, which you guys are familiar with. We'll get that in here sometime uh, either at the end of this week or beginning of next uh, and all these things are getting added in parts as we go and as these updates, which is kind of cool. So you kind of get it and then you get it. It's almost like getting a new truck rather than getting a quote unquote updated truck. So as these guys have time uh, to work on new things, uh, the new things get added on uh, as well. So Jacoby, sadly not, man, <laughs> will not be driving the $100 truck. Uh, not unless he wants to send it to me. Uh, which then we'll, then we'll review it. But other than that, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not doing that. One. So the trailer is from uh, is from Keith Davis, his uh, his ATS mods group. Uh, and I'm going to grab you guys an actual direct link on that. I'll just need to find it here in a minute. So yeah, the Western Stars, right, man? Kurt, good to see you, man. Esteban, what is up? I am having a great night. Uh, yeah, I decided to go classic blue, man. I don't know why. I like the blue, the paisel green, um, kind of the cream white is a really nice one. Uh, yeah, he's got the Ford LTS, right, man? So there's a lot of stuff. He's got about five or six trucks that he's got, uh, as well as all these guys do. So anyway, man, I am uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go, man. So the shifter has been shipped. So if anybody's asking, the shifter was shipped yesterday or today. I can't remember. The guys told the guy it would be there Friday in my hands, uh, and then, then then he read the little paper and it said Monday. So it'll either be here Friday or Monday coming here. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, so we're still waiting on that, that, but that hopefully I'm super, 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 super excited, uh, cause we'll be uh, dealing with that in here. Hopefully at the beginning at Swiss will have some, uh, some, has some really slick stuff. So that's exciting. Uh, the other one is I did get my ETS shifter in too as well, but when I get the other little, I'm working, waiting for an adapter piece once to get that, then we'll have us a, a brand new shifter for ETS. And when you see the one for ATS, you'll understand why I can't use it for ETS because it is going to be just bad to the bone and it just, you know, it just needs to be what it is. And uh, you guys have never seen anything like this. I'm just going to tell you, I've never seen anything like it. So it will literally be a one of a kind that nobody in ATS, unless they've custom built themselves, uh, just a massive uh, stick that, uh, yeah, that anybody's seen. So anyway, I'm excited. So Seeger, what's up, man? Rinde CX-11. That's right, man. Car hauler. That's right, man. Cody, what's up, buddy? So, yes, I can't wait. Uh, who is Mormon? Uh, it's Marmon with an M-A-R, M-O-N. Marmon. It's the brand. <laughs> What's up, Katheda? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. Uh, so we've got uh, we've got uh, Keith Davis's. Now, this is an old one, I think, from Drove Mining. There was a few other guys. Uh, Keith Davis did some stuff on these flatbeds. So this has been some drop deck. You guys remember the Benson of uh, uh, not flat deck but uh yeah it was the flat deck it was the one for one through seven we did a few weeks ago this will be the drop deck which has uh some new loads on it as well so <laughs> fair enough man <laughs> seeker are you who i think you are are you are you are you letting it letting in on on something there, man? Certainly not, man. <laughs> I don't like kidders, man. You just put the trucks in the game. <laughs> Green, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, Jeremiah? Good to see you, man. Yeah, cloudy. Well, it's a, it's a, it's breaking up there, as you can see in the background. So, all right. So here's what the inside looks like. We'll roll some windows up here. I may have to adjust some sound. It actually is pretty loud. Uh, beautiful interior. It's got a nice little flat top cabin there. GPS in the top corner there. Um, beautiful wood dash in here. Got nice pedals. Pedals are animated. And people don't really catch on to those things, but you can see the brake pedal and the, uh, and the accelerator there. Both. Uh, yeah, it's nice. All the switches, as you would expect. Um, although the way I would have trailer on there, got the headlights there. I was trying to think what else I might have on here. Yeah, between that and all those, yeah. So you can see all these are sweet, it's nice. Uh, JBX, yeah, we, we decided to roll JBX, man. 
Uh, let's see, let's do that. Yeah, we'll roll that for a little bit. I forgot those two will overlay, but at least that way you guys can see where I'm actually going. So, they are generators there, Highland. You are right, man. Alright, so I'll go ahead and let this thing uh, roll the winners down on it. So we are headed to, uh, as you can see, we're headed to Casper, Wyoming. So we got the Red America map, which adds Wyoming, Idaho, uh, Nebraska, and Iowa in. So we're going to be doing a little Wyoming, and then from there, we'll pick up wherever we're going to go. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, no wheel camp. Sorry, man. Oh, look at that, man. This stupid thing froze up. What the heck, man? That's yeah, a cam link. All right, hang on a minute. I'll fix that. Hey, KP, it's good, man. How are you, man? Uh, things are good, man. I can't complain too much, so therefore I will not complain. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and unfreeze that bad boy. All right, and... And there we go. Um, not too much on that. There's a few different things on the outside arm, uh, but there's not too many interior things. You got a wheel, like you can do white, black, or or a uh, brown, but the interior doesn't have too many things yet. Uh, 520 there, John. Well, I hope you didn't cry, Jacoby not worth crying man <laughs> Frederick no man we're still in 137 man it's running smooth um, everything I've got works well in it so I haven't upset the apple cart too bad yet well you know sometimes on these trucks you know the here's the here's like the the catch-all man it's actually nice to have some trucks that have some different stuff in it um, and not to say that any of the rest of them are any less good or something's particularly better but it is kind of nice uh, when when you do have some of these old school interiors because some of these old school interiors are just by general nature they're simpler um, which sometimes man it's, it's actually kind of nice so mr. bueno what up man Now, I think we've got uh, we've got that one wheel pack, the uh, Smarties wheel pack. This is a great, great wheel pack on this thing. Yeah, the old school trucks. It's funny, man. You know. Like uh, we used to, do, we used to stream these old school trucks all the time early on, and people couldn't be bothered with them. They're like, "Man, nah, whatever, man. I just want a brand new truck." And then it's like a couple of brand new trucks came out, and everybody's like, "Hey, show me the old school trucks there. If you got a few of them in your back." I'm like, "Wait a minute. We used to do these all the time. Where were y'all then?" Well, we were looking at old fleet trucks. <laughs> so it's funny. Everybody now wants to go back in. And let me see some old stuff there, bud. I like it with this flatbed combo. It's actually kind of nice. Well, I've always dug, I've always dug the old school trucks, man. Old school anything really. That I think this one's, I think Jay, I think this one's about the same as the other. It's twenty five or thirty. I think these are thirty. And if that's not your thing, that's okay. You don't have to buy it. But I will say. Um, I don't normally show you guys trucks that I wouldn't and don't buy and support the modders myself. So, you know, in, in that in that particular sense, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to put as much of my backbone on some of these as I as I can. So, if I'm showing you guys trucks that are payware, generally it's because I actually I actually really like it. So, uh, Devin, I believe the sound mods in these uh, come with the truck. Uh, it could be possible that I'm some of Creech bombs. I only have Creeches in there. There you go, Seeker's got it there. I was on holidays, trucks can go to 15 there on Blade Shop. So, 
but all these guys have Facebook groups. So if you see the groups and stuff, jump in there if you want to know when updates are coming. Make sure that way you guys can download stuff when, when new things come up. So. It's not that I don't like it. Jacoby says, I don't feel it. It's, I honestly, here's the thing. I, I, I feel bad streaming something that not everybody can purchase. It, it's one thing when, um, it's one thing when you go actually, you know, if, if the guy was selling the truck and it was just for sale, it'd be one thing. Um, because I could tell people, Hey, you can pick this truck up there, but it's honestly why I don't really stream a lot of private mods. Um, because I have to constantly tell everybody, Oh, it's private. You can't have it. And then people just don't like that. They're like, well, why stream it? And show it off to everybody and you're not going to let anybody have it or sell it to anybody so um i kind of have a problem the way he does pre-orders he doesn't ever actually put the truck on sale and leave it on sale so i can't like stream it then everybody's like hey where'd you get the truck and i'm like oh sorry you can't get it anymore because it's private and then you know so that starts that whole mess over again so that's why i won't do it even if he sent it to me i'd be like bro you got to put your truck up for sale man <laughs> what's up patrick Hi Range, what's up man? Good to see you, man. Mark as well, good to see you there. Miss some of you guys out there. Uh, the horn I think is just regular. Yeah, they're regular. I do not have a chrome mod. Tyler Cole, what's up man? Patrick D, good to see you bud. I'm missing a few of you guys. West Math, what's up? All right, let's let's get on the road here. Big and square, that's what it's about, man. DJ, what's up, man? Yeah, Erm, uh, so he deleted all of his stuff. Uh, evidently, he got salty on something. I don't, I don't know that anybody knows yet what he got salty on, uh, but he uh, got salty on something and decided to delete all of his stuff. So his mods are for him and his friends to enjoy now. So in my words, they have become private. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Tyler? <laughs> the flatbed. No, it is not a paid-for mod. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig the link up for you guys because I've been, I've been to give it to you before, uh, but I will give you guys a link. So don't go anywhere. I'll give you a link for uh, actually the truck if you want to purchase this. Uh, you can go check out more from Blade Shop. We'll be featuring some more of his trucks in the next coming. Um, actually, hang on, this is way too loud. I can see it already pegged my audio. Um, I will give you guys uh, the links down in the description if you want to look at the truck uh, section on the very top of it. And then if you want to look at the other parts, you will see um, some other little links and some helpful stuff, especially if you want some, some merch from either company merch for truck stuff or whether or not you want to look at some channel merch. I've got both links in there. And then I will give you guys the trailer link here in, uh, in I guess, once we get to our destination, I'll dig it up for you. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Now that, oh man, uh, Billy Mays, isn't he, isn't he dead? Isn't he dead? I think he is. Yeah, thank you there, Deuce. Got you using some commands up in there. <laughs> Ozalito, what's up, my friend? Good to see you, man. Well, uh, Chris Elliott, I agree, man. Um, yeah, he doesn't even want to sell them, doesn't want to do anything. He just uh, leave them like they are and just going to enjoy them between him and his friends. So... Um, which kind of really kind of it kind of stinks the way he did it, but you know each to his own um, I'll tell you this man once you screw a community over if you ever decide you want to come back to them and want to get in their good graces again uh, It's kind of hard to leave like that and expect them to do it, but whatever wish him all the luck I messed up a lot of our trucks. I'll tell you that mess Uh, I'm not sure why that Viper is 389. Uh, I thought I updated that. Maybe I didn't. 
Yeah, I, uh, in some regards they are, Jersey. In some regards they are. Alright, to Cheyenne East 80 we go. Want to take about the last part of uh, Salt Lake City or get out of Ogden here, Utah. And then we'll pass Wyoming signs here in probably not too long. <laughs> You're not salty, little will. <laughs> Jake, you ready there? Uh, you ready there, Tyrese? To turn years up super loud, bro. What do you what do you mean there, uh, agent? You should have seen him in the truck sitting Discord. What do you mean? You mean the uh, the ATS like the SES one? Yeah, you like that tire? I figured you would, man. Chronic, what's up, man? Good to see, you, bud. The auto car? We'll uh, yeah, we'll check that out, Wes. Um, I was trying to think. Uh, wrecker. I think the other one. I got the Trinity trailer too, which is pretty slick as well. We we're rolling that one as well. Um, I think of the other one I got. You remember the other one I got? We might pull that one next uh, next one there, Devin. Might pull that one out, man. Hey, what's up, Matt Ribas? Good to see you. Our uh, on the road trucker there, man. A double cattle. Goodness gracious. Good to see you, buddy. Um, so trucker Cole, this one right here, you talking about that side panel, that one right there. We're talking about that one right there. Upper bottom. Yeah, this is a stretch, man. You can get out and just straight up cruise on this one, man. backwards hopefully we won't run into anything <laughs> what's up Connor Jacoby this is the Mormon um, as for the exact year uh, I want to say it's 87 fingers crossed uh, secret might know the the absolute the absolute uh, digits on that one uh, sequence shifting, eh? I, I'd say go in and do your ra do your range and uh, your range and split if you want to do it the legit style. But you gotta really have to have a shifter. You can do it with the buttons like I've been doing. Um, I won't have to do that pretty much after uh, after the new uh, after the new week pops in. Uh, Wes, I'm not exactly sure which model it is, to be honest with you. Mr. Palomino, what's up, man? I do, Connor, have the triple folds. Hey, thank you there, Kales. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Yes, the bottom side panel, so the bottom side panel is in the description. Uh, it is from ASB Simulations. Uh, you see that in the description. And I also have a 10% off code. Although someone said that my 10% off code didn't work. So I'm going to have to, uh, I've sent them over an email to ask them why it does not work. And uh, if something is, uh, you know, something is up, why that thing doesn't work. So they can get that fixed for you. Yeah, JBX works on anything Jersey that does not uh, produce its own weather engine. 
So if it's just a map, uh, it'll work on it. But some maps do have their own weather and their own like time and skyboxes set up via the time zone of the map. Um, you find it a little bit more on ETS than you do ATS. Uh, ETS has a lot more one-to-ones and they do a lot more custom stuff with the weather and really kind of stretch the mods a little bit further. ATS, man, not so much. But we've got a few things to stretch out the weather on this, but they're really kind of outside weather mods. And he either offers compatibility to those or not. But most of the maps, dude, are, they're, they're fine, man. I haven't run across a single map that doesn't work with it. And most of my ETS maps, I haven't run into a single one, at least that I own, uh, that's given me, uh, given me problems. So... Hey, what's up, Dread Game? Stupid? What's up? Hey, uh, Mr. SLS. I am headed to Casper, Wyoming. That's where we're headed tonight. So we get Casper. We're going to the Deep Grove, taking some diesel gins down there to the uh, local warehouse units there on the... Uh, I guess that'd be a Deep Grove. It'd be the forestry stuff. So, so yeah, man. He's still gaming. Thank you there for the sub, man. Appreciate it. I hope Idaho is out this month. I am, uh, I am hoping, man. I'm tired of waiting on it. I am tired. I thought it would be out in June, honestly. I thought it was coming out the second of June, and then they started pulling out the old, uh, "Hey, we got one three eight coming to you." We're like, <laughs> I was like, "Well, there goes Idaho for another couple of weeks." <laughs> uh, I hope it says this month. I, I, I'm hoping, man. They did that with um, Oregon. Oregon and Washington both they said it was going to come out this month and then or not this month but when they did they both came out and hyped it up and I hyped up the crap out of it on the channel and then they were like <laughs> so I was like dang it man so of course everyone's like I thought you said that Washington was coming out nah, I thought it was too but it's not <laughs> sorry but honestly I don't even get excited about this stuff anymore like I do but I don't like, I don't hype up any of it anymore because it's just a constant hype train that never pulls into the station. So it's like, when it finally does, it's like, yay, everybody can be excited at the same time. Other than that, eh. We'll see. Uh, I would imagine Saul Spall said it'll come out. Uh, I, I would imagine it would come out before. Uh, they usually don't usually release. So if it comes out, say, like next week, I would expect Idaho to come out the following Tuesday. But, yeah. Uh, agreed with you there, Seeger. I, I am looking... I would really look forward to some new mechanics as part of the game. It would be nice. I think new road behavior would be really nice. Uh, interaction between the truck and trailer. Um... But yeah, it's just it's, it's primitive in some regards. Honestly, I think they posted as much. That, you know, honestly, they probably posted as much about Colorado as they have Idaho. You know, oddly enough. Get the new sounds. <laughs> You know, I, I've been looking for that, and, and honestly, like, ETS kind of like, I don't know, ETS kind of got to be a little bit salty. You go to ETS, man, and they've got all of their trucks just about, except for the Scanias, have brand new sounds. And they sound good, and I'm like, you know, here we are struggling with the, uh, struggling with the one, you know, we've got the, the Mac, and then we've got, um, uh, what's the other one? We've got the Mac and the, the 680. So, man, we are rolling 75, 75 on the 80. I ain't thinking of their trip. Been saying that for a long time, Jersey. Been saying that for a long time. Uh, my upload speed's like 20, I think. 
You don't really need too much to stream. Not upload speed anyway. YouTube really only, uh, if you want to do a 1080 stream, they really only advise 8,000 bits. Anything after that, you're going to lose in compression or they're not going to accept it at all. So you really only have to have about eight, eight meg, 10 meg upload. And to have a good current stable uh, connection, they say about 75% of that should be used for streaming. So, Yeah, you wouldn't figure a horn sound to be that big there, Joselito. You wouldn't figure it'd be that that hard to do. Just 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 different ones, you know. Um, I think you can download ATS on a MacBook Histel game, and you can uh, you can do it through Steam. Um, as for the external programs like Trucks Books, Truckers MP, anything that you run outside that requires servers to run on tele uh, telemetry, uh, none of that stuff will install on a uh, on a Mac. So. It does, Timbo. It does, man. Nice wood grain. It's got some animated stuff there on the pedals as well. All the switches are animated. So, yeah, it's it's legit, man. I like it. Mirrors are in a good place. <laughs> the wheel's nice a bit. I like these wheels, man, on the old schools. Like, Blade does it and Chaos Shadow Walker does it. Um, and every single one of them have where you actually turn the wheel. It's got, like, the full 18. It's like the 1800. Um, but it turns and looks like a real truck wheel in there even though you're only turning the wheel 900 degrees in any given direction So that's kind of cool. I do like that man Hey, what's up Peter? I'm good man <laughs> Somatic points. Yeah, I know Mike. I, yeah, we, we were too man I, That stuff is always like that's always for the new player That's like just getting an ATS and they're like wow, this is wonderful and the rest of us are like We need more more sounds, you know, like go get some more sounds for some of these trucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Grease Monkey, we are hauling some diesel generators. We are headed down to the Deep Grove, and I'm going to give you guys a link to this trailer here. It is free. I'm going to give you guys a link here once we get to our stopping location, which will be in. Uh, uh, I lied. 290 miles. So if you guys are liking what you see here, especially with this Mormon, this Mormon is uh, from Blade Shop. Uh, he's probably most notorious for the car hauler and the wrecker, 388 wrecker. So we're going to be rolling the wrecker out uh, here probably either end of this week or beginning of next. We'll run the wrecker out. Uh, just got a new update on that, so that's exciting. So we'll get that loaded in, uh, and we'll show that off to you guys and pull some, uh, pull some recovery vehicles around. Um, we'll do that uh, probably uh, either I don't know, I'm just trying to think day wise here we might do that tomorrow or Monday because we'll have convoys Friday and Saturday uh, it is a 4.6 there total so I7 7700k Nice, nice secret. I, I know, man. I saw that uh, the link come, man. I, I have not downloaded the stuff yet. Um, whatever, uh, I get that stuff downloaded, and get it thrown up in ATS, man. I'm excited to see it. It's been a long time since I've seen. I, th I saw your record, dude. Uh, or that initial uh, record, man, when Ki uh, originally, like way back. It feels like forever. I first met Ki. He was showing me some of that stuff. Been a long time, man. <laughs> Well, Connor, I guess you can jake shift, but there's no reason to jake shift at 70 when we're just cruising. So uh, we've got a little bit longer here on the 80, and then we got to make a turn up to uh, we've got to head up on up to Casper, which doesn't look anything like Casper. So at least so I'm told. So you get to enjoy a little bit of scenery there till we get there. So we got a couple things going on. If you guys are just joining us, thanks for uh, for one joining us uh, as always. Uh, two, you got the Mormon here, the, I believe it's the 87 Mormon, uh, random, we'll see, but, uh, what's up, Clint? I am doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, you want to hit the Jake? You can hit that going up, the, going up the, <laughs> hit that going up the hill, but anyway, you can find this one in the description. 
link there to Blades Custom Mod Shop is uh, up and available. Uh, if you guys are on Facebook or know any of that, so you probably have already seen this. So if you got a, a few groups that you're already a member of, so go hit that up. Go uh, show him some love. Tell him FTG sent you. And I got a link here for trailer that's going to be coming to you. I'll send you the direct link on that. It is a uh, freebie and a wonderful. Uh, Keith does a lot of stuff, man. Keith does a lot of things and actually takes some of these older trailers that were like either post or pre one version 134, uh, which is where the trailer ownership came in. Um, so he'll take a lot of these uh, trailers. Um, he'll take a lot of these things and he'll actually make them available for some of the more recent versions, update them, at least get them into the ownership, uh, update their cargoes and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, anytime you see any of these free modders, man, doing some legit stuff for the community, don't forget to go support them uh, every now and again whenever you can. Even if it's five bucks, man, you'd be surprised how much five bucks would go to some of these guys. So, Mike's good to see you, buddy, as always. All right, Pancake, have a good one as we drift over into the passing lane. Yeah, yeah, Clint. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're still doing our thing, man. It's weird that you'd ask how she's doing, Petty Group. Yeah, she's doing fine, man. Famous Shay, we'll do multiplayer uh, Friday for ETS two, and then we'll have uh, we'll have our normal ETS should be our normal ETS on Saturday. Uh, so we had a really good Stars and Stripes, uh, uh, nice Stars and Stripes um, convoy out last week, which was really cool. Did a little July 4th drive around with the guys. That was cool. Uh, so we'll try to thematically throw something up again this week and uh, see where we see where we might have taken off. So, oh, thank you there, Seeger. Yeah, man, I like the I like the Woodwheel, man. So it's kind of legit. <laughs> I don't know that I would like the bigger ones though, the 16 inch ones. I don't know, man. Just for the sim, that might be too weird. Take the exit on the right. Now that y'all hear the Jake break. That's all anybody came for. I certainly will there Mr. Mexican trucker. Let me make the turn here. Like it, yeah, man. I feel like it's dangerous to do that because I don't know when traffic's gonna stop on me. <laughs> uh, thank you, man. Yeah, appreciate that, man. Yes, sir, Louis Trucking. It should be good, man. Double clutch. What is it with y'all and double clutching? It's so annoying. <laughs> no, I wish that Clinton is still in the dining room, bro. We're still. I'm still in the same house. We we have not we have not uh, built our new house yet. So we're we're in the process of repairing, but we had to uh, we had to do some things to this house first before we could uh, could move out and build another. So. So I guess uh, I guess things all in good time, right? So eventually we will, but yeah, we're we're still still dedicated to the dining room. <laughs> ATS for Xbox? No. Yeah, that's not possible. Not a Western Star. Mormon's not a Western Star. Mormon is its own thing. It's its own brand. 
they made uh, they were pretty hefty there they did a lot of they did a lot of uh, cab overs uh, especially there in the late 80s they did a lot of cab overs early 90s and they did the big square bodies here uh, I'm not sure if Marmon still uh, I'm not sure if they're still you don't ever see any of this stuff in the, in the state side at least I've never seen any of them. There may be some other guys that have seen some of these besides that were actually production trucks for America, but. <laughs> I hear you, Clint. Uh, why did I stop doing triple screen? Because you guys asked me to. No joke. Not you as in you, KP, but everybody else asked me to go back to single player so they could sit inside the cabs of the trucks in a little more realistic sense for, for them. So they really wanted to, I guess, feel like they were driving the trucks. So, uh, therefore, I retired from uh, the triple screens for that. So, What's up, Austin? No, sir. You are not late, man. We're riding through some awesome scenery here. We're on the Great America map. We got a brand new truck. We got a brand new trailer. So in all in all, in the days of AC, uh, the days of ATS, it's a pretty good day, right? Yeah, Captain. People didn't care about the. They didn't care, man. Uh, my views tanked whenever I went. Uh, whenever whenever I went to three rod, uh, I went to three wide gaming and three wide streaming, and the views tanked. Nobody wanted to watch it. Nobody wanted to see it. And they wanted me to go back to single player, single screen. And so that's what I did. You know, in, in certain ways for me, uh, for the enjoyment of the game, I do enjoy 3 wide a lot better. But I will say this in their defense, um, it is a little bit better when you watch the stream back to see it in this perspective. Oh, my, I think I'm camera froze up again. Yeah, I'm running JBX, Clint. I'll be, um tell you what let me try one other thing here oh a uh a setup tour eh it's still in the i think i need to turn something down i'm gonna turn the um turn the f mode up here and the f stop i've got it a little bit low this is probably why it's having trouble All right, let's try that and see what happens. Hey, thank you there, Doug Band. Appreciate it. Well, this one's not the GoPro. This is my nice one. Um, but I actually did figure out that it really has nothing to do with the... Uh, it has nothing to do with the camera. Um, it is the cam link from El Gato. Woo! Come in sliding into third to Casper. Coast Coast, Great America map there, Duckman. Hey, <laughs> we get to hear the sound in the tunnel. Whew. Oh, they haven't added them yet. All right, Wes, have a good man. Thank you for that bit of information there, Mike. <laughs> I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> uh, whenever I get some, uh, yes, uh, happy, whenever we get some some time in on the tracks, man, I, I've been doing good and struggling to, to enough to get uh, ATS taken care of. So once I have a little bit more time to do some of the other ones like iRacing, then I will, um, yeah, I will I will attend to that as, as, as quick as I can, man, but not being full time, it's, uh, it's a hard gig to try to put it all together, man. So this one's paid there, Dark. Uh, Mr. Palomino, no. Nope, you only get steam uh, on BC.
yes in the skybox is paid yes A everything tonight is paid <laughs> except for the map we're driving on and the trailer we're pulling yeah and i'm gonna give you guys a link for that one here in just a minute i have no idea what mountain that is andrew i have even no idea if it even exists man that's all right clint well a lot of those uh issues from the uh, past have been alleviated as well so uh those those ones that cause so much uh so much strife and issue there they're they're no longer around so there's a there's been quite a few changes around here man so but it's all good man it's good to see you man all right Austin. Hey, Justin, Chris, we are crispy as always, man. I love it, man. I, people kind of hate to drive and stuff, but, man, I love this little strip of 80, man. All the way through Wyoming, and uh, even once you hit up here north of Wyoming, it's nice. Very good. What's up there, ATS? Well, they man. Appreciate it. Yeah, let me let me know if it lets you in. It should, but it's possible there may, may be some leftover residuals. But if not, I'll take care of that. <laughs> be able to jump in and say one night. Yeah, the truck. Uh, I didn't update the the. I didn't update the command there. So. Oh, it did. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Who'd have thunk it, man? I thought it was really there might have been residuals left over, but all right, good deal, man. entering Casper which I heard it, it looks nothing like Casper does IRL so yep there you go Blitz Creek what's up man outside Jenks says RK all right man just because you ask you're generally a nice guy I know. I'm sorry, geek. I just can't. I can't do it all, man. I need to hire you guys to do that. <laughs> all right, man. Have a good clean. We'll see you, bud. Pretty quiet in here. Not a lot of people around. Thank you, the RK. Appreciate it, man. Nate, what's going on? We can see Nate Kelly up in the house. Nothing. Yeah, I know. Well, and, and to be fair, Oregon uh, Ford guy, uh, this was done by a European. So, I mean, I, I think honestly, for a European to do an American map, for one, is sad that we don't have at least one American guy that wants to build a map like worth a crap. Everybody that builds a map for America, for whatever reason, they're all foreign. They're Brazilian, they're Russian, they're uh, Dutch. Uh, I don't know what it is, but we got no Americans willing to put any effort into a map. This is actually kind of kind of sad, but you know, Mop Mode Trucking was up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's the that's the that's that's the thing, Oregon. The guys that really know what's going on with them, you know, don't build them. And I'm not calling you out specifically, man. I'm just, you know, like the the, the like the real mod makers and the map makers, and we just like those don't exist for ATS. Like I don't know why. Like if you can name me one American that builds an actual map in ATS, like okay, a sound designer. Like, we don't have a single American that does sound design. I think Robin Eichus was Canadian. Creech is German. 
or Dutch. I mean, I'm like, so what in the world's going on with us, man? We got no problem telling everybody when their map's out of date and when they're not doing a good job. But, you know, heck, we're doing it ourselves. Oops. Sorry there, uh, buddy. My, my B. I don't think we're in the right gear. There we go. I'll tell you this, he knows how to build a dirt road. <laughs> I do like this dirt road, it's nice. Yeah, true that, Kathana. True that, man. By God, I'm gonna get on the soapbox here to a minute. Y'all just better shut me up. <laughs> Be five pe 500 people in here watching FTG rant, throwing it up on YouTube tomorrow. FTG loses it on stream, internet goes wild. He finally got the views he wanted, made him look like an a-hole in the process. <laughs> Yes, I think HFG is, but he's not a map maker. He's just, uh, there are a few, like Vipers. Viper wasn't American either. Uh, Chaos Shadowwalker's not. Bart's not. John Root is not. HFG might be. I don't think Blades is. I don't think. Maybe? Can't remember. But yeah, yeah, we don't really have any, or hardly any American modders. And there's a few other guys out there, like Outlaw is. Um, Root is from Russia. Yeah, so that, but I'm just saying, like, you can't say anything if you're not making a conscious effort to, uh, you know, reverse that one. <laughs> yeah, and he's, uh, he's Russian, and there was another guy that's Ukrainian. And Pinga, I think he's uh, Brazil. Bart's Brazil. Cash Shadow Walker is Brazil. So, yeah, man. Well, you got HFG. We, we can claim HFG for our own, and that's yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, <laughs> uh, I did see the flat top there, Erm. I did, dude. It looks good, man. I'll, I'll be I'll be anxious for that one. Man, a lowered, uh, a lowered flying top 3D9. Man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be legit, man. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I forget about Arms World. Well, Syndicate, a syndicated modding. Uh, God, with Gear Gear Jammer. Now, Gear Jammer does. He's done some modding. Um, and Red might be uh, with the Mac Chu. He might be American. So we might have three. Might have three, maybe. If we're lucky, might have three. So, but anyway, we got some generators here headed on to a Benson flat deck, which I am going to, or step deck, I should say. Oh. But I am going to give you guys here in a minute. I'm going to grab it off Facebook for you. I'll give you the original, original link. Yes. Yeah, now, for, yes. now, farm sim, totally different, dude. Kateda, that, that, totally different. We'll, we'll count those for ATS. Man, there's a lot of trees up in here. <laughs> a lot of trees. Uh, no, Oregon. I have not had one issue with mine since I got it, man. Not a bit of it, man. It's been solid as a brick, man. I'm a stepdaddy. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we just, we call them step decks. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. GT Mike, I do not think, was American. Now, whether or not his counterparts are, I do not know. I don't know about Harvin, and I don't know about uh, Sissel. I don't think Sissel is American. I don't think. But anyway, we can play guess this nationality later. Um, let's see where we headed. Where we headed? 
Oh, shoot. I think we got all the way over there. Uh, okay, there it is. All right, yeah. Woo, I don't know if we can get it. I don't know. We'll give it a whirl. Hey, what's up, bud? Bud Lee. Yes, Marty's Canadian. See? See? <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah. Well, that's true, man. We really don't have a lot of Americans doing anything. Nope. All right, we'll just spend the Louis here, and uh, we'll go ahead and deliver off the other side here. Hey, what's up there, Bull Holler? How are you, man? Hope you're doing... Whoa! I didn't realize that little guy would be there. Well, there you go, Nate. Brownie points for you. I am good, man. Hope you're doing well. We're going to try to squeeze into the uh, deep grove forest here. Uh, we'll certainly do that, Erm. Uh, I'll do that as soon as some time frees up to let me do that, man. I thought about that when I got on and said, man, one of my classic skins. Uh, maybe I can, you know, take the initial design off one of the John Rudas or one of those classic stripe designs I did for Cash Shadow Walkers. Old Dodge or something. Let's see if we can make one of those happen. That would be nice. You are right about that. Hey, what's up, Speedmeister? Thank you there for the seven Canadian. See, even Speeder's Canadian. <laughs> Thank you there, buddy. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> uh, Speeder's been around for a long time. He's our, our fast keyboard, our keyboard driver on our convoys. So thank you there, Speeder. Appreciate you, bud, as always. All right. All right, so we'll do that. Let's go ahead. Let me dig out right quick while we're are waiting. If you guys got questions, go ahead and throw them up. Uh, and then I will, uh, I'm going to dig up that, I'm going to dig up that link for you guys for the step deck here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. All right, sweet. All right. Da, 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 da. You know what? Might do. <laughs> nice. Hey, David, got a. All right, man. Yeah, Mr. David, I don't know if you're in chat or not, but nice pics there on the uh, <laughs> on the John Ruta there, truck and trailer. <laughs> nice pants. Nice to see my my paint job on there. Uh, let me get to the announcements here and I'll get you guys a link. We might even pull another one. I might even give you two. How about that? All right, let me find you the original. There is the original, courtesy of Mr. Keith Davis. All right, guys. There he is. So you want that trailer? There you go. Go grab it. It is free. Mega.nz, which is really good. So no share mods and all other kinds of junk to have to wade through uh so hey matt thank you man another 15 dollars there for mr matthew rimus another uh on the road trucker he's not over the rainbow by any means <laughs> yes i do have that thank you again there mr matthew rimus appreciate you bud as always um all right so we can do a couple things um i will uh let you guys choose uh, i've got a couple things that if you guys want to see these uh, i've got a nice maximizer flatbed which uh, we have done before which is straight up legit we can even pull the dry bulk uh, tanker which i will give you guys a link if you want to see it if you don't it's cool 
Let me know in chat. They're both free. I am not a trucker in real life. I'm just a I'm just a wannabe. <laughs> Future wife said thank her. <laughs> yeah, the, the the drive yeah, it looks good with this truck though. That's the coolest thing. <laughs> yeah, I know Bull Holly would be. I uh, appreciate that that there Billium. Well, we can do the dry bulk. Everybody's seen the step deck and flatbed. Of course, you can't see uh, can't see the loads in the dry bulk, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just a virtual trucker. I'm just I'm just the one to be who enjoys it, man. I, I I do enjoy the sim and enjoy ETS, ATS, really any kind of driving sim racing doesn't matter. If it's got a steering wheel, pedals, gears, rally, oh my gosh, they just used to used to love doing uh, rally, but nobody watched it on YouTube, oddly enough. Especially not streaming. I tried streaming early on, and everybody was like, eh, cut that there, FTG. I don't have time to be watching you run through the woods at 100 miles an hour. But hey, let me hear that Jake break. Dude. You'd probably like it, honestly, Jersey. I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty good, man. I mean, it really is. All right, let's make it 7 o'clock. Let's see where we're at. I'm going to... I'm going to transfer us down into, um, uh, where do you guys want to go? You want to go to Nebraska, Iowa? Uh, where do y'all want to go? We got, we got a lot in here. Plus we got all the Mexico, but people don't really like Mexico as much. It's kind of odd. They love Sierra Nevada, but they don't really like Mexico and it's basically, it looks the same. Um, so we're in Casper now. Uh, I can maybe move us over to Scott's Bluff, maybe. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Mia. <laughs> uh, yeah, Seeker, I don't know. I don't get it, man. I don't understand the whole truck cabs. At that point, you could buy a truck cab and get your own, you know... You know, with with some with some diesel smarts, you could you could get your own setup. You know, like literally your own truck, fall and haul some flatbeds. You know, statewide, for what it's going to cost you to get a uh, get a daggum truck cab in your house. <laughs> Let's go to Cheyenne. How about that? Let's go to. Let's go to Cheyenne, and then we'll continue on the eighty there. And let's see. Let me get the let me get our map up. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and pull us a dry bulk load here out of um, out of Cheyenne. Oh, look at that! It's a reflection, man. It's just like somebody just got done polishing that thing. All right, let's do. I think what else to do? Let's go ahead and let's, let's see if our cargo works down here. We probably should have checked that before. Let's see if our cargo. Oh yeah, it does. All right, so we got going up into Chadron. What else we got? We got some going up into North Plot. Plat. Almost said Pilati. Y'all would have killed me if I said Pilati, wouldn't you? All right, plastic pellets going into North Platte. There we go. All right, but I think it's uh, yeah, seven thirteen in the morning, so we'll have another daytime trip here. Yeah, missed that one. What's up, Big Dub? What's up, Sinister? How are you, man? 
Good seed, guys. Uh, which truck you buy? It doesn't matter. Both of them are good. Both of them are getting good updates, Erm. It really doesn't. Buy one now with the with the, the anticipation of buying an next one later. That's that's the way to do it, man. All these guys, man, Blade's got a lot of good trucks out now. John's got good trucks. KI Shadow Walker's got trucks. Like these guys are getting pretty legit nowadays. Like it's not like you you know, like, yeah, well, maybe this one's pretty good, but the rest of them suck. No, they're, they're all good, man. These guys are doing some legit work, so. Boom! Mm, that's pretty. I don't like a dry bolt, but I like that one. And we just tapped that, so that little charger, we gave it a little push. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, you know, he probably needs to add that as a, uh, um, we ought to send him a message there, Jersey, and just say, hey, maybe, maybe offer both, offer a tinted window option as an accessory and maybe one without. Oh, you could have had that if you'd have gone. Hey, bull holler. Yeah, I can always expect that from you. <laughs> Yeah, I think people have been waiting for a flat top, man. They've been asking for a flat top on Rudis for a long time. So it's good he's putting a few different options out there for it. That'll be, I tell you what, man, as many options we're, we're going to have on that 3D9, it's going to be hard to beat that versus the $100 light meme machine. You know, the people behind me are mad. Dad Gubby's missed about four gears. Poncho, what's up, man? Yes, yeah, but pretty typical there, Jersey. But it is different in the game. That 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 tin at dark is like, woo! <laughs> uh, it's a little bit hard to contend with. I'll give you that. Hey, I'm gonna just roll the windows down so I can see. <laughs> Irv, you said it, not me. <laughs> Probably gonna laugh out and up, Sinister. It's all good. With a hint of John Ruda's interior. Just gonna say, I'll be honest, Seeger, when I um when I when I first saw that, I, I initially thought that because the animations that he had were the same ones that John Ruda offers. You know. Not you know, not judging without seeing, but Oh look at there, we can actually move this little thing. Look at there. <laughs> Why are we picking up plastic pellets from HMS? I guess they would have plastic pellets, maybe. I'm liking this covered wagon we got over here. Trash bin? What's better than being the poop bin? Yeah, I got a couple of bulls and a bunch of bullsh- <laughs> what are you hauling, bull hauler? I'm hauling around a bunch of bulls. <laughs> He's like, yeah, 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 laugh it up. Get your jokes there, FTG. <laughs> Oops. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, we, we missed that one. All right, see, Payne, I, I know. That's what I said, man. You know, this thing could almost double as the Oscar Mayer wiener if you had it painted up right. Don't it look like the Oscar Mayer wiener mobile? Kind of does, don't it? <laughs> yeah, second time's a charm. There we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's what next time. That's what we'll say. That's what we'll say, Bull Holler. <laughs> what you hollering? Oh, nothing. Just a bunch of bull. Javion, what's up, man? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Sea Pain. You're welcome. I'll be here for another, yeah, another 45 minutes, buddy. So once we get to our next location, you guys want to link to this one? I'll throw you, uh, I'll throw you another mega link there from Mr. Mr. K to the D. It's good when we got a good chat, man. Y'all don't understand. Like, you think, like, half the time it's like, oh, we'll just watch, you know, FTG drive around and stuff. Look at those chickens hanging out the back of that. They, they decided they wanted some wind instead. Yeah, half the time live streams are made, and they're good live streams because chat was very nice and active and funny. And we had some laughs at other people's expense. That's typically when things, you know, are good. When we can laugh at somebody else together, that's best. I saw it go to the outside here for a minute. What the outside or funny chat or the wiener song? Their tempo. It's gonna be. The formative live interaction. There you go. Oh, dang damn it. <laughs> he barely got stopped, didn't he? Hey, what's up, bear? Yes, sir, man. I don't do it all the time, but when I do it, you know, we usually own it when we do it. I don't do it all the time, though. <laughs> Thank you there, Mia. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, depends on how long it takes to do this. We only got, I kind of blur all these back together. It's 214 miles on this one, so we'll see, depending if it's, um, if it's a light load. I hate the buttons. I can't wait till we get that shifter's gonna be on Friday or Saturday. Or Saturday. Who I mean Friday or uh Saturday or Monday. Who knows? Then I won't have to guess what gear I'm in. tunnels and the jake break Woo. yes it does the radio does work it does work it works on multiplayer but yeah i can uh i don't 
I don't normally use the CB a lot anymore. Like I used to use it, but I don't I don't really use it much uh, anymore because most of the guys <clears throat> are either watching the stream or they're already in the Discord, and just kind of helps me from having to like echo myself three times to people that might be watching. So, um, but when I am on there by myself, I'll use it quite a bit. So. Which honestly hasn't been a lot since they haven't really gotten things, you know, all that greatly updated with it. Just goes crawl up the hill. Let's go. Woo! Some map loading up here. Uh, it depends, Kyle. Um, I mean, it depends on what you want, man. If you want somebody to build you a custom that looks just like an Eaton Fuller, he's the only guy anymore that does it. Um, yeah. No, it's not game lag there, Andrew. I love it when you, when you think you know what's going on with the system, man. You do this every time. Alright, so they're trying to load all this map stuff in. Um, but at any rate, um, yeah, so I, you know, it depends, Kyle, whether or not you want to spend that kind of money for it. Um, you know, to have something custom built, he's probably, you know, depending on, it depends on what he's making out of, the switches that he's doing. I mean, I know what mine costs just for the parts, and, and I'm, I'm about to get the, um, the overall work order plus the shipping and stuff on it. I mean, stuff's not cheap, you know, if you, especially if you want a custom. Um, but, um, you know, I don't know, man. That's that's something. That it's like it's like anything that goes with rig stuff. Like if you guys wanted to ask a setup question, like that's a good one. Um, is it worth it? And so the question that you really have to ask yourself is, what I'm about to do going to bring me enjoyment? Not is the next guy going to be jealous of it? Not is the next guy going to think it's stupid for buying it? But is it going to bring me enjoyment? Am I going to love it? Am I going to get a lot out of it? And if that answer is yes, then it is worth it. If that answer is no. I just want to either show it off, be one of the crowd, or just do what my buddy's doing because I don't want to be left out. The answer is nope. Go get you an A plus B shifter uh, that's uh, you know a urethane plastic that gives you the buttons that works and is solid and like literally like forty percent of the cost. So like you've got you've got those those two can you know those two ideas going on. So whichever one of those answers is you, then that's what you go with. I mean, they're expensive for what they are. I'll, 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 get you, I'll give you that. But I made a decision when I built mine and I had to have the guy. Um, I'm having a, a special friend is custom building mine, so uh, there will not be another one like it unless someone else copies it. Um, but, um, yeah, so it, it's, for me, people will probably look at it and say, well, that's, that's crazy, that's ridiculous, FTG, why would you do that? Because I wanted to and because I wanted to enjoy something that was just for me. So that was that was my deal, so. So we kept rocking and rolling through there. Good gravy. <laughs> well, I really wasn't, Bull. <laughs> I really wasn't. Yeah, I just, uh. Yeah. Woof, okay, man. Yeah, because I can. Because I want to. And if the rest of you don't like it, then you can throw a thumbs up, thumbs down on this video. I'm just kidding. Hey, you know what, Lauren? Touche. Touche. But you know what? I have actually uh, don't have to drive out anywhere. I don't have to leave the fam. And I make actually pretty good money doing videos of the virtual thing, so yeah. When you already have a job that I don't really want to leave to go get a CDL, it's the second best thing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thank you there, Nate. Uh, can you see it rain? I don't know why you would. Uh, if it decides to rain out here in the uh, in the dry sticks in Nebraska, then yeah, you can see it rain. <laughs> touche, Oregon. Yeah, touche. I got that goes with everybody's job, man. That goes with everybody's job. Um, how do you use your computer with how you're set up in the wheel placement and the mouse? I use it just like that, Seeger. I use it just like that, man. <laughs> it's it's tough some days, but all of my work, every bit of it, gets done in this rig. I'm sitting here just like this with my arm up here. I mean, it looks more it looks uncomfortable on the stream, but it looks more so than it really is. I see Bane have a good man. Hey, what's up, Pop Tyler? Man, it's good to see all these guys in green, man. If you guys see these guys in green, they're all uh, members of the channel here. So if you see that word join couple different levels if you guys want to support it's totally fine if you do uh, but it is a great way to just uh, support a little by little each month and uh, you get enough people to do the little by little you know it makes a dent and makes a difference um, and uh, so basically it's like a 4.99 super chat it's our entry level and then it's got a 9.99 and then a 14.99 so if you guys want to do that it's totally up to you uh, but you do get your name in green and uh, we get to recognize you here as a uh, runtime member so uh, the longer you uh, member up, kind of like Sinister or C-Pain, you get different emblems for uh, different months. So uh, for those guys that are, are in the green, thank you guys. Appreciate y'all a lot. Thank you all for y'all's support uh, and continued support here of the channel. So hopefully we can uh, hopefully we continue this thing going to 100K, man. That, that, that'd be my goal. 100K and then, then, I'll, then I'm just like, okay, now, now I don't know what to do now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Agent. Yeah, well, unfortunately, like, the Tunnel Echoes haven't been added on this map yet. I think he just updated that, though, but I didn't have that map in here, so. There you, <laughs> there you go, Captain. Well, thank you there, Jeremy. Appreciate it, man. It's good to have good guys around the, around the fort, man. Got a lot of really, really, really awesome guys here, man. Talented guys and uh, just all around good guys to hang out with in the Discord. So, Let's see if we can get us. Uh Get us a little a little photo here. I love when our F mod sounds freeze up. <laughs> Way to go, SES. A little saturation, pull the blur out. Let's throw a little field of view up in here. Let's get on this side here. Let's do the dark side. <laughs> I hear that, Peter. I would be too, man. I would be too. Uh, negative, Cody. Here, Cody wants to see it rain. Let's make it rain. Let's make it rain. See if I can make that. Let's see if I can make it rain. Somebody better make it rain. Dot. No, I'm just kidding. That was gonna be really bad. It's a G set weather one. <sighs> 
There you go. I can't say you don't get what you want around here. Not the first guy that ever won't rain in the stream, but there you go. I don't know if the traffic drives slower if it just feels that way because you don't have as much depth per se. I, I don't know. I don't know. That'd be a good question. They, they probably do. Probably slow down like 10 miles an hour. Toby, that's all in the dev console, man. You can literally make it do anything because it's the developer console. So they can change anything they want to. I can make it stop raining. I can change the time. I can reset loads. I can do anything from this thing. It's pretty awesome. And I do have a video if you go back to the main YouTube page. After we get done here in the live stream, I've got the uh, the main one. Uh, if you get down to the bottom, Modding 101, you will see the dev console. Uh, when you see that video, watch that one because I give you a lot of these commands to tell you how to set this up. And that way, if you want to uh, do things for yourself, then there you go. You can do it yourself, man. Amaze your friends. The magic of the dev console. Oh, it's super easy to do. It's not a mod. It's something you actually do in the config file. Take the left turn. Yeah, it sounds exhilarating there, Agent. That's what I was going with, man. It's exhilarating. Try that again. Okay, we're good. I really thought I was going to clear that one. I really did. I was kind of disappointed we didn't. Oh. oh, yeah, this is the last one. I know you can pull around, so don't tell me. You can just pull around and then shoot. I like backing it in. This is actually a very good trailer to back into. Let's we'll see if we can do all this all quarter window. Mr. Worldwide, thank you there, man. $15 super chat from Worldwide. Thank you there, bud. It's good to see you in chat, man, as always. There's a guy that's going above and beyond the Call of Duty on support, so appreciate you, man. Been around for quite some time. Mm, do I have my Zoom? No, we don't have my Zoom set up. to the left let's see if it'll give it to us I gave it to us I 
never pull a Swifty. Never pull a Swifty. A cool of seven. What's up? <laughs> yeah, the echo in this place is legit. Um, okay, what what we got here? An hour thirty. Um, let's just see. Hmm. Trying to think of one other one that'll look good with that trailer. Don't know that I have. Maximizers are always a good one. Let's try one more short one. All right, so make that one. Let's see where our. Whoops, not that one. Oh yeah, link for the drop hook. Um, let's see. To search on that one. Let's see. Let me let me scroll. Do, 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 do. I think it is a one three seven. It's either one three six and it still works, or it's actually updated for seven. <clears throat> yeah, y'all y'all getting some. Getting some links out of me tonight. It's been a good mood tonight. There she blows. Thank you there, Barracuda. There you go. If you guys want one to the dry bolt, there you go. Um, yeah, the maximizer. I'll have to get a link on that one. Um Let's do. Let's see. Let's see what we got on. Uh, let's see what we got on cargo. This one's got some nice cargo loads. On this one, let's see if we got any of the draw in here from North. Yeah, we do. All right, so we got diesel gins. Red bricks are pretty cool. These are all like the perfect like flat load um, loads. So just woo, going that's way, that's way out of there. How's uh, that going? Somebody wanted me to go there. Let's go and see if we could find. Mm. Yeah, no problem there, Captain. Hey, what's David? Hey, man, good. I saw that, dude. I saw it on uh, the ATS mod update, man. I, I saw your uh, your combo there in front of the garage, man. It's it's awesome, dude. <laughs> I was like, hey, I know that skid. <laughs> who is that? And I was like, hey, look at there. Look who it is. <laughs> Awesome, man. Uh, let's do let's do some wood panels. We'll do a Norfolk to a Dunlap, Iowa. I have not been either one of these, or at least Dunlap. So let's roll this last one. This will be our last one of the night here. So let's uh, let's get us a good one in. Uh, we'll go to Norfolk. I wonder if they call it Norfolk or Norfolk. Because if you're in Virginia, it's Norfolk, Virginia. But maybe Nebraska might be different. Whoops, nor that's not it. All right, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna put us right smack dab, right here. Hey, I think of there, Connor. James Richter, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Yeah, so there's the uh, there's one of my faves here. I like this flatbed. Uh, Spectre does does and should work. At least it did uh, up until uh, you know this last update. Now it may need to get an update for 138. 
just depends when pro mods does an update and all of those you probably need to look around the uh, the um not the mod sites you can look around the forums uh what time is this eta's uh it might might get a wee bit dark on us i may have done that a little bit wrong they do mike they do don't lie I could ride down the Interstate 85 tomorrow and show you five in a row that do. Don't tell me they don't have arch in them because they do. You might know a city's called in France, but you don't know drop decks not flat. Some flat decks are, but some uh, other flat decks do have an arch in them. Yeah, man, it's all uh, wood saw, uh, wood uh, plywood panels. Looks like this truck. What if you saw this truck man pulling into Lowe's, <laughs> delivering a bunch of plywood? Everybody'd be like, "What the heck?" No, nah, it comes in on like a Freightliner Cascadia, like a 2002. All right, Norfolk to uh, where are we headed? Dunlap, going to the home store. Hey, look at there, we are going to the home store. Couldn't have called that any better. So, uh, so while I'm at it, let me go ahead and tell you guys a few things. What we got? Um, so <clears throat> they do. I mean, yeah. I mean, they they've got uh, all this stuff has arch in it. Because if they don't, man, you put these heavy. The one thing is, this one doesn't flatten out whenever the uh, the load gets on it, which people are always so, so upset about. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, all these all these trailers have have arch to them. Because once they do get loaded in, they do they do flex out, especially the all aluminum. Um, but uh, but at any rate, uh, if you guys were wondering a little bit, let me tell you what we got going on here with stream. Especially if you're just joining us, if you are, don't forget to make uh, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you do uh, enjoy the stream. You want to come back and check out some more? Uh, it'd be very nice, very helpful. Uh, so thank you guys. Uh, first off, uh, second, we've got Mormon a truck here. It's like a '86, '87 model, I believe. Uh, this is from Blades Workshop. There, ATS and ETS trucks, uh, and I've got the link down in the description. Um, so you can go ahead click his and then you send him a message and let him know you're interested in it So on FTE's channel, uh, that'd be really good and all these guys man are doing really good with their updates um, The reason that I support these guys is because I see that they've kind of got a continued work ethic with ATS So they're not like one of the guys that drops off Versions you never hear from them for the next you know like a year uh, And then finally they update one truck and then everybody goes crazy and then they they're they're gone um, so at least with all of the guys that you see some, me support here on the channel with payware mods uh, All of these guys are regularly updating their mods keep them up adding new things to those mods whether it be trucks whether it be trailers uh, Whatever even maps these guys are updating constantly. So uh, At least I'm trying to put as much as my backing as a channel as a content creator let you know that these guys are good uh, uh, They're good for, enough for me. So hopefully they're good enough for you uh, other than that, map-wise, we're on the Great America map. That's uh, the 1.5.4 version, I believe. That is on the SES forums. If you've never seen mods, you don't like going to the mod sites, uh, go try out the SES forums. You can find those like at forums.sessoftware.whatever it is. Uh, but at any rate, those are two really good places to go grab some mods. A lot of guys will put their direct mods in the forums. Uh, you can get the Great America map there by going to American Truck Simulator, going to mods, and then going to maps, and then this will be like one of the very top ones. You can find Coast to Coast, Canada Dream, all of those big maps that we do on here. You can find all those in the SES forums as well. So, thank you guys. Ah, there you go, Matt. Thank you there, man. 87 more, 57p. That's what I was looking for. The 57. I knew it was around that. I knew it was around that. Uh, I know it was around that that particular year, so awesome, awesome, awesome. Agent, have a good one, bud. It's good to see you, man. I mean, these guys are pokey. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got that. That cattle hauler is making an appearance for you. If you like cattle haulers, uh, I think that one was from Cyrus the Virus. Uh, his cattle hauler is like everywhere on the map. 
Uh, I don't know, Andrew. I don't know. That's a that's a good question. I don't know why they're all so loud at default. I think we've been asking that since they came out with it. So we just had to adjust every single truck that we have. All right, we'll roll with the windows down here for a little bit. Yeah, no problem, Seeker. Not a problem, man. I was glad to, man. Always excited to check out new stuff. Uh, it's good, man. I'll tell you what, I'm going to back my scaling. Might be down at 400%. Might back it down to one more. Now, uh, 300 and ultra. Yeah, that'll do it, all these trees. There's a lot of trees here in um, Great America map. It's kind of like coast to coast. Probably needs to thin these trees out. That would help out a lot. <laughs> All right, Oregon, have a good man. Oh yeah, Geek Squad. Yeah, you can't get wrong with Sierra Nevada, man. It is a really, really, really good, uh, really good map. You guys do a fantastic job with Sierra Nevada. You couple that with some of the uh, some of the remakes and the rebuilds we're going to have for ATS this year, it's going to be good, man. Down in the description there, Thomas. Down in the description, buddy. This one is from the Blade Shop, so you can find it on uh, his shop there on Facebook. Just send him a message. I think it's 30 for the for, for the Marmon. Uh, and it is an absolute gorgeous truck. So I'll uh, actually get it out here in the daylight here in just a minute. So we're also going to do a uh, so we'll also do a feature with this truck as well. So um, there's not a ton of features on this one, but he's updating this one all the time as well as um, you know each each upgrade that he does on trucks. He kind of does uh, more things added on each individual truck he's working on. So he just put out an update with the uh, 388 Wrecker, which we will get to that here ASAP as soon as we can. Uh, we got a few other things. We got a giveaway with uh, Cash Shadow Walker's truck. We'll try to get one of those giving away here at the beginning. We just got a lot of stuff to go through, so you guys will have to be patient with me to get some of the extra the extra video content out. But we're going to do another featurette on his truck uh, with the Marmon here, and uh, I'll see if I can't whoop up a, um, a custom paint job before we get to that point. But uh, regardless, any, any, regardless, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll do a little uh, time-lapse build on this thing where you guys can see some of all the parts on it, uh, and we'll get to, get to see the best, best views of this vehicle. And I'll put together one of my uh, cinematic, uh, put one of my cinematic vids together of this one. It'll be a nice one. So hopefully, uh, by that time, maybe we'll have some Idaho to, to traverse in, and hopefully, maybe we'll have some uh, some 138 to run in too with uh, SES. So we got lots to look forward to. Colorado, we got Idaho, we got uh, the SSAO update with 138 to come out. ETS has got Iberian Peninsula to come out. I mean, we got, you know, like six or seven big things happening on the uh, the SCS software block right now. So, um, so it's a pretty good time to be looking for updates for ATS and ETS. That's, that's for sure. Jake Brown, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man.
Yeah, it would be cool to earn. Have your own, like, have your own, like, server with it. I, I would honestly think it could be done. I mean, I don't see why it couldn't be. I guess, I guess it would have to have... SES would have to have their own version of localized multiplayer for you to be able to do it on, uh, for you to be able to do it on, like, a, uh, server multiplayer. Oh. Oh, will this get on Viper's truck? Uh, you mean, like, the one with the, the arrows and stuff on it? Uh, potentially. I just haven't done it yet. I wanted to do a classic one, but... But uh, I can try doing that, man. Yeah, I, you know, I, yeah. I mean, I think all those things could be possible. It's gonna take SCS getting on the ball with some of it, to be honest with you. I don't know if it'll happen. Whoops. Missed that one. It's nice. Very nice. Hey, good there, very good. Yeah, man. It's a there's a lot of good stuff, man. Ah, see y'all got to take a drink with me right there in the car, man. Or in the truck. What's up, big dub? <laughs> I'm like, yo, got FTG. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't do too much grinding. I just miss it totally now. <laughs> eh, I don't know, Geek Squad. Maybe. I don't know, man. We got any fellow Iowans out here? Is this a uh, decent representation, Iowa? Maybe. I, I want to kind of lean towards it. Probably is, but I don't know. Yes, it does. Sweet. What uh, there, Andrew? What? Uh, they got to keep the whistle lubricated. It's one of the best cruising trucks, man. Ruta's Root has got a really good cruising truck, and this is a good one, man. I like KI, KI Shadow Walkers 93. This one is uh, one of my faves on the square front end, so I like that. John Root is a good cruiser, man. Just hop on this 80 on Great American. Just literally let it roll. Let it go. Awesome. No, Ron, no word yet, man. Supposedly this month. That's the plan. Supposedly this month. It'll come out on a Tuesday, so either look for a 138 update this coming week for Tuesday, and then the next week would be the release of Idaho. Maybe. We'll see. And here comes Dunlap. Well, that's what I mean. We only, uh, what's the date? What's the, does that say, does that say the ninth want to be the ninth so we got three weeks uh, three Tuesdays left so we're either gonna get an update to 138 and then the next week will be the release or it'll be the other way around one of the two if I'm in first. Well, 
I said fi fellow Iowans. I'm actually from North Carolina. I just meant any fellow Iowans since I was driving through Iowa. <laughs> I didn't mean that I was from there. <laughs> uh, from Iowa City? I'm just kidding, man. Yeah, I'm from North Carolina, so... Uh, Cody ATS, that would be John Ruda. Yes, and I think he said he was doing a flat top on the 900 too. He said he's doing a bunch of stuff with the 900. I think. Pretty sure he did. Uh, so the only engines Mythic I'm running are Creatures. He's the only one left. Him and Z Mod. So if you're looking for default like W900, SES 389, Viper 389 sounds, you can go Z Mods. He's got really good um, Cat 3406, I believe, and he's also got the Detroit Series, uh, Detroit Diesel 60 Series. Both of those are on Steam Workshop, and Creech is on his YouTube channel uh, for his ATS pack. It's up to 3.1 now, so um, I think that's what he's running now. So, um, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, all right, guys, um, that's good. Uh, good stuff, man. Good truck. Like these models. I like these these old school classics, man. They're just really, really good. So, uh, so thanks there to Blade and all his work, man. Uh, you guys go support him, man. Go grab this truck. It is really good, as you can see. I'm gonna do another feature on this truck. So, uh, if you guys are looking for, uh, you know, if you're looking for a little more to see what you can do to it, customization wise, uh, a lot of the parts are kind of as is right now, but you can usually do painted or you can do chrome variations of them. Uh, a couple of different visors, a couple of different front bumpers, you know, everything from a little more sporty look to a little more custom slash uh, then you've got more of your heavier haul uh, kind of looks with some of this. But I'll do a couple of different stacks as well. Uh, but anyway, I'll do something a little more breakdown, kind of like I did with the Dodge, um, with the Dodge, uh, the Bighorn, which I got a lot of positive reactions. You guys actually sent some quite uh, nice messages on Discord. Say, hey, I like that. It was good. You got to see a breakdown of the truck, and uh, especially if you're going to pay for mods, you need to know what you're going to get, um, and not just you know some YouTuber driving around with them uh, and just saying, "Hey, go come by me, come by me." Uh, you guys need to make a decision for yourself and actually be able to see what you can do with it, and and then get to see it in a uh, especially like a live stream like this, a couple hours driving, absolutely no issues, no problem, absolute joy to drive. So. Um, so yeah, so we'll do a, a build and drive similar type video with this. Although this one's not, it's not as in depth enough there, Chinchilla, to really do like a full out build and drive because um, most of the parts are kind of the same. They're just paint variations versus chrome variations and a couple different things here and there. But you really can't like build out multiple like variations of the truck like with some of them you can. So a lot of the trucks don't really get that anymore. Eventually the Rudas uh, trucks will be. I have no doubt that these will as well. Um, but we've got some other trucks with blades that we are going to be showcasing here in the next couple of days. Uh, or at least up to the beginning of this coming week. We got a giveaway with Cash Out Walkers that we're going to be doing. Um, so as for when this happens, we've got ETS two on Friday, uh, convoy. Uh, you guys need to be here for that. I want to literally have a stocked. Uh, I think last week we had forty, almost forty some in the Discord that took off for ETS two, and then we had Stars and Stripe convoy on Friday, uh, or that next Friday, and we had uh, fifty plus in that one. So that's really good. And we keep those going. And keep those numbers going up. So, um, so anyway, thank you guys for coming. So if you want to go do that, uh, come on and hop in the Discord. I put everything up in the official Convoy channel. That way you guys can see everything. Uh, come up and join us, and that will be a lot of fun. So ETS on Friday, uh, usually around 10 p.m., come around 9.30, get all your stuff set up. And then we'll be rolling out at the same time uh, on Saturday for some ETS Convoy action. And I have no idea where we're at yet, but uh, at any way, it's going to be good. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, Sinister kills it, man. 
<laughs> Sinisters, yeah, man, he's uh, supported. He's a big time. Uh, he's a, it's a big financial support. Uh, watches a lot of streams and and does a lot of donations as well on the line. So yeah, he's he's stacked on him some tarmax. We're gonna have to find something good for him to spend them on. <laughs> so uh, so anyway, you guys have been awesome, man. Thanks again. Uh, and let me uh, throw some shout outs here to everybody here on the uh, channel here. Let's see, got some new guys rolling in. Um, so here we go. Sir Kales, man, thanks there for the 10. Get things started off there as well as Nicholas Fender. Captain Chaos, man, thank you there for your uh, for your 20. Uh, he's still gaming. Welcome there on the, uh, appreciate the sub, man. As well as Mr. Speeder, uh, nice Canadian uh, donation there. Yeah, appreciate it. I think we're talking about all our American modders that don't really exist. And Matthew Rimes, man, $15 super chat there. And Mr. Worldwide, another $15 super chat. So appreciate it, guys. Y'all are awesome. Uh, appreciate it, man. Uh, again, we'll be back um, hopefully tomorrow, if possible. Uh, if not tomorrow, we will definitely be back Friday for Convoy and also Saturday for Convoy. Then we'll take Sunday money off, and then uh, then it's a new week for ATS. Hopefully, some new stuff coming up. We got 138. We've got all of these things coming down. The dog's barking, so that's my cue, and we'll have to go. So anyway, you guys have been awesome, and I will see you here in the next live stream, guys. We'll see you. Peace out.